Hello guys, welcome to this video. In that video, I'll be discussing about Onyx Runtime. So as I've already showed you uh, the ML example, and there I was using the Onyx Runtime for running our Onyx model. So uh, if I talk about the Onyx Runtime, it is like uh, really very, you can say high performance interface uh, engine, okay, for Onyx. Uh, so it is like quite fast if I talk about and it was founded you can say by Microsoft okay under this MIT uh, license and it was like totally open source and it is like uh, extensible and modular framework okay and it uh, ships with the Windows uh, 10 as uh, you can say WinML uh, if I talk about and uh, you can say Microsoft prefers this uh, runtime okay uh, very much because it is like quite fast uh, for the uh, deep learning uh, if I talk about because I think you have seen uh, uh, if you are working with the deep learning so uh, the default runtime you are using okay so that is like quite lagging okay like that will uh, take some time uh, for running your model but if you are converting uh, that model to the onyx uh, format okay at that time uh, at the time you are working with the onyx runtime okay uh, if you want to use that uh, onyx model uh, uh, for you can say in inference uh, so you have to use the onyx runtime and if you run your model inside the onyx runtime so that would be like quite fast okay so you can uh, compare with that and uh, so that's why it is like more powerful and uh, you can say most uh, preferred runtime um, you can say under this microsoft uh, if i talk about and uh, this is the onyx runtime uh, diagram so here you can see on top of uh, this onyx okay you have your uh, all the frameworks like tensorflow pytorch cafe 2 okay and so on and uh, and uh, after that what are you doing uh, yeah here you are using some converter like uh, tensorflow to onyx this pytorch to onyx onyx and this scikit-learn to onyx okay and it is converting your uh, uh you can say existing uh, model to onyx file format and that format you are using uh, on top of your onyx runtime and onyx runtime you can see it kinds of uh, middle level uh, runtime okay middle level language so onyx runtime is trying to convert uh, these things uh, you can see in a common language so that like anyone can uh, utilize that so here you can see after converting your model to the onyx uh, here uh, uh, we are using the onyx runtime and from the onyx runtime itself uh, it can communicate to cpu gpu okay uh, or vpu whatever you have uh, it is just trying to make communicate with each other okay so that is the thing like uh, onyx runtime provides uh, so you don't have to worry about your uh, uh, you can say hardware and you don't have to worry about your framework so once you have converted your model to onyx uh, file format uh, so by default it will handle each and everything uh, you don't have to worry about so it is like quite strong and fast uh, runtime uh, i can talk about in deep learning uh, so if you are execute so if you are executing your uh, model inside uh, onyx runtime so at that time you can uh, consider like uh, how it is like more fast so yes uh, this was like you can say onyx runtime uh, and if you want to like deep dive uh, about the onyx runtime so you can uh, go through the you can say official github of onyx so there they have written okay uh, in a very detailed way so you can refer that otherwise like it's fine uh, it's a kind of high level overview you can talk about so yes this was all about uh, and i think you have liked it so let's uh, uh, come with a new topic in our next video